Hey guys, I'm sorry I won't be able to be with you personally this week. Um, Tracy and I are traveling with Josh, our son, and heading to uh, Texas, of all places, because that's where uh, he signed up to go to school for the next couple of years. So uh, we're going down for an orientation. We'll miss all of you uh, personally, but wanted to give you a video so that you could still uh, talk about the scriptures and and uh, the questions that we have laid out for you this week. So I'll be keeping this short and sweet. Uh, here's your icebreaker questions to talk about. What do you think about when I say the word home? What do you think about when I say the word home? And, and what's your favorite part about home? Uh, I'm gonna press pause on the video so you can press pause as well and talk about that with uh, whoever you've got there for your discussion. The first set of scriptures that I have for you there to read about are uh, switching modes from the northern kingdom to the southern kingdom. And of course, when I say Judah, you say south, right? And so uh, we're switching back to the south for just a minute as we look at a change from King Asa, who was doing a good job uh, for the most part, and then we go to his son, Jehoshaphat, and what we're gonna find here as you read the scriptures is that Jehoshaphat also does a good job, even actually better than his dad, Asa. Uh, he cleans things up a little bit more in the southern kingdom so that uh, once again, you have a good ruler that is, that is there. So read those scriptures uh, in, in your discussion group, if it's uh, just right there with the small group, or if you want to read it with the larger group, uh, if you've got a larger group of people. And, uh, and then talk about these questions. Uh, what do you consider to be the good life? What do you consider to be the good life? And do you experience the good life? Uh, and when? If, if you experience the good life, when do you experience that? All right, I'm going to press pause so that you can press pause and read those scriptures and talk about it. All right, this next sec is, uh, is switching back and focused on the north again. And when I say Israel, you say north, right, because that's the northern ten tribes. We've been focusing a lot on them because their kings have been doing such a bad job that that uh, God cuts their reign short and they keep getting a whole bunch of them for one king in the south uh, during that same time period where there's only one king in the south. So now we're back to the north. Uh, king Ahab already did a bad job and we focused on that last week. Now we're looking at his son Ahaziah. So Ahaziah is the, the king in the south now and it tells us that he, was a, he does a bad job uh, he's a bad king. He follows in the, fo in, the, in the footsteps of his father and his father's father and so forth and, and going back for, for years and several kings. Um, as he is, is ruling in uh, the north uh, and he is uh, doing that, he has a, a problem where he, he falls actually down a level and gets hurt really bad, like falling from the second floor down to the first floor kind of thing. And he... Uh, is wondering what's going to happen to him. He's hurt so badly that he's wondering if he's going to die. And so he sends people to go and, and ask prophets of the false god Baal uh, whether he's going to live or not. Uh, the Lord sees what he does and sends Elijah, we've seen Elijah already also a couple of weeks ago, sends Elijah, the true prophet of Yahweh, of the Lord, sends Elijah to, uh, to speak to Ahaziah and tell him, you know, when you got hurt, you decided to turn to a false god to find out if you were going to live. And because you did not turn to the Lord, you are not going to get out of this bed. You are going to die. The scriptures are there for you to read, and I, uh, I want you to read those together in your group, whatever size group you have. Uh, read through those scriptures first, and then talk about this. When you have struggles in life, 
where do you turn for answers? Or when you get hurt, where do you turn for, uh, for healing? Uh, and why, why do you turn there? Uh, why do you choose to go there for healing uh, or for answers? Okay, I'm going to press pause so you can read those scriptures and talk about that in your group. All right, the final set of scriptures here now kind of switch modes completely, not focusing on the north or the south, but focusing in on Elijah the prophet that we've already seen has done such a, a great job of representing the Lord in this life in all kinds of circumstances. Elijah is getting ready to go home, and, uh, and as he gets ready to leave, he has another prophet by the name of Elisha. So we have Elijah and Elisha. Elisha is the, uh, the young prophet who is, is really turning to Elijah to be his mentor. Uh, he, is, he is really hoping and praying that he, will, uh, that he will be the next prophet of the Lord. Uh, with a, a double portion of the spirit that the Lord has has given him. I, as we look at this final stage of Elijah's life before he goes home, and then as he he does go home to be with the Lord, um, I I want you to read those those scriptures and then uh, talk about that. Where, what physical location do you feel the most at home? And also, uh, what person helps you to feel the most at home? Uh, I think what we're going to find this week is that, that home is where a, a building is, but um, in many ways, home is more about the people that help us to feel at home. Uh, maybe it's family, maybe it's your church family. Uh, where do you feel, who do you feel most at home around? Talk about those two things. And then the final question as you go to prayer time is just this. When you leave this life, do you have hope that you are going to go home uh, to be with the Lord? So read the, the scriptures, see how Elijah went home and sort of that interaction with Elisha uh, before Elijah goes home, and then talk about those questions. Um, I'm not pressing pause this time. This is the end of the video for this week. Thank you for your time and attention. Uh, I'm praying for you as I'm on the road, and I ask you to be praying for me and my family as we're on the road as well. Thank you.